Hello and welcome to a video about me, Jordan Antipo, as I continue my last play on Medieval Total War, the Sicilian Campaign. And as you can see, it's a bit different from when my last left off, because I recorded the last session in 30 FPS. And it looked like shit. <laughs> so, we haven't missed much, we haven't missed a battle. I'm still busy with Pamplona, because it's going to take too long to take it in, in the battle. The, the battle limit's going to run out before I take that, because it's, it's going to have three sets of walls. Uh, rounds I was going to take, but guess what? If I attack at night, they still get fucking back up. Fortunately, it's mostly militia, so they're not going to stop us from taking it. And since it's, it's a city, it's only one set of walls. We're basically putting down the walls, charging and defending the square from the uh, backup. And Paris for besieging, which we can't really take. Because their king is in here, it was oh, like, oh, just like my king is a 10 star general. He has a militia army, so we can beat him, but still, I'm not going to risk it. I'll just go watch out for the Danish. And now you can see Khan, they're spamming troops in Khan, it's going to be a bitch to take. Um, we've got another army ready from Valencia and Toledo. And you see the general, which is going to come from Palermo, this guy. Uh, no command, but whatever. Got no, got no real choice. I mean, he's got three command, but he's not low enough. He hasn't got five loyalty, not six. Yeah, I do, do, do actually. No, bastard. Uh, the Pope. I thought I was going to attack something. <laughs> As he put his full army. That was procedure of Florence onto the boats. But he left the Jackio and Claglia from the looks for it. His second to Zaragoza, since that's his last territory. He got a fucking full sack, so I can't take it. Which is unfortunate. We actually have two new popes. And I'm still excommunicated. Because they're both Danish. So he loves everybody apart from me. Because he is a asshole. Anything else? Uh, no, we're trying much troops, and that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got an army on the way to take uh, Arguin. But it is time. For some bloody combat. Let's do it. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Basically, I'm gonna use my cannons to get in. I'm pretty much hope I immediately uh, can take the square and then defend the square. Let's do it. So basically, once I blow the gate open, they're gonna the cavalry are gonna rush in. Our foes are ungodly beasts, and so we are but the sword in the hands of the hosts of heaven. We do God's glorious work, and if we fall, we do so in His cause. We do so because he has willed it. Now, bow your heads. Then let's do the appointed task. Our French foes hold us, along with the rest of the world, in a scant regard. This is a mistake they repeat and repeat, being arrogant and wine sodden in equal measure, and thus as slow to learn from their errors. Could be a great help in the fighting if only we can get over their smell. <laughs> Think that is worthy of Frenchman's privates. You know me, I have slain many heretics, pagans, heathens, and malefactors for our mother church. I stand with you now as a man of war, your general, who would lead you to another victory in God's name. So let us go forth. And conquer! Alrighty. Go away. So they're gonna come from that side, aren't they? 
But basically, we're gonna blow the we're gonna, we're gonna blow the gates open and we rush into the square. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There's a reason we got cavalry, or this doesn't actually have a lot. Don't matter. Blow it open. Go, 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 go. Pause, pause. Pause. There we go. Right. We're going in. Everyone else can walk, though. Get your ass in there. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. What are they? No crossbow militia. No, oh, take them on. Come on. Take the scroll before they can even get it. <laughs> Simple. Uh, you run. There we go. Screw you, mate. There we go, we're gonna take it. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Yeah, the general's nearly dead. Only half the enemy force remains. Come on. Kill the general, then kill the cosmo, and then we take it. Come on. Just don't die, King. Which are like the best general I've ever had in some time. We there he is. Thank God that wasn't my guy. Okay. Come on. We got the square, we got the square. They've got to get three minutes to get it back in here. It's a one to one ratio, it'll be an interesting fight. I should win though, because they've got a lot of militia in their army, haven't they? They're not moving. Are they going to give up? You don't want to do that, mate. The men are dead. Uh, what? What now? What are they going to do? They've done it again. The French are pussies. It's a one-to-one -one fight. You could win. They could. I could lose. But they're going to allow me to trim militia and give me an edge over them. And start a territory. Oh, idiots. End the battle. Victory is ours, but only Close victory in my ass. Pussies. Oh. Collier de Borges, you have disgraced your entire faction, not everything. Suck it. Repair everything. Uh, we've got a. Uh... <laughs> Do I want to tap that on? Do I really want to tap that on? Don't much fucking. Uh... Right, okay. Next battle, Pamplona. Well, being at night hindered my accuracy. In my door, well, attacking the day. 